the first contact with friendly aliens took place in Italy? Is this is a true story as told by hundreds of Italians as they claim to have come into mass contact with the third press and had face-to-face -face meetings with aliens who call themselves friends, quote-unquote? In Italy, it's known as the case of W56, but it's better known as Il Caso Amizia, while in English it translates as the friendly case, the friendship case. Although there are some doubts, as we'll see later, so many testimonies show that the friendship case, as it was named, seems to show that the first mass contact of people with friendly aliens took place in Italy and is a fact. It was in 1956. The Cold War had broken out between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, threatening to explode a nuclear exchange and radioactive catastrophe, threatening with deadly, invisible poison the planet's surface. Every nation in the world was afraid of what the superpowers would do. Italian writer Bruno Savacicchia owned an old map of Rocca Pia Castle in central Italy. In April, he began exploring the place with two friends. Giancarlo and Giulio. They had been found in the foundations and at some point two guys approached them. Giulio was worried, pointing out that they were security guards because they were both wearing the same uniform. But Bruno said, I don't think so. One was very small while the other was very tall like a basketball player. The facial features of both had a classic beauty. They looked almost like angelic creatures. At the same time, they had radiated an aura of love, which they felt like warmth. Both types said that the earth was created for good, but man was very close to destroying it. They were representatives of other races in the universe, part of a group known as W-56. Quote, please, they said, just call us friends. We are in charge of protecting the planet from nuclear war. End quote. This was the beginning of a massive contact that would take place gradually both with ordinary people and with respected, trustworthy people. The quote-unquote friends explained that they had been on Earth for hundreds of years, living in secret underground bases around the world. Theirs was under Roca Pia, in a very deep chamber about 200 miles long. The canopy was so high that the space had its own weather system, including underground rain. This chamber was not dug. Instead, it had been, it had expanded underground like a balloon, squeezing the layers, the layers around it in an impenetrable wall. These friends, quote unquote, were willing to trust Bruno Samakicia and the people he trusted. So the author and his company swore silence and faith to the friends. However, after Bruno's death, some of the friends, quote unquote, began to make contact with other people. Initially, historical alien encounters were limited to one or two people at a time, but gradually the Italian witnesses soon numbered in the hundreds, making the friends the first and perhaps the only case of mass contact with aliens. The friends were happy to give proof of their existence to their faithful human followers. Visits to their flying saucers were arranged by arrangement. In fact, there was a photographer where after an appointment on a specific date and time, he was free to talk, to take pictures, and many of those photos of their flying vehicles were published in the Italian press. Soon after the first mass contact, the friends helped to uh, ask for help from, other, from their human friends, large quantities of fruit, whole loads of grapes, oranges and apples were requested. When the supplies arrived, the trucks were unloaded by teleportation in a matter of seconds and delivered back empty and very clean. The friends, quote unquote, could teleport anything, even people. The teleportation, according to witnesses, was always accompanied by a bright, dazzling light. During the meetings with the people, the friends revealed that they had an enemy who also had secret bases inside the earth. They were called contraries, meaning the opposite or perhaps the contradicts and had to be kept under control. Contraries were materialists and lovers of science, they said. The friends, quote unquote, were worried that humanity could follow their enemy, which if it, ha if it had happened would lead to its destruction. In a mass contact, they explained, among other things, that 
They themselves were a group engaged in the prevention of a nuclear war. Even a very limited nuclear war is capable of causing a global catastrophe, they explained, and the result would probably be global famine that would kill up to a billion people worldwide. On the other hand, a very large war could cause a total catastrophe, disruption of the entire world climate. There would not be a single day without frost, which means that agriculture will cease to exist and that great famine would run through people everywhere. The vast majority of the human population would die as a result of this. And when the leaders of mankind consult and discuss concerning such weapons, they act as if we have a war from which everyone can survive. They refer, however, to themselves and some of their submissives. They do not refer to the whole of humanity. The elite of witnesses. We must mention and acknowledge that the whole story with the mass contact of these aliens and humans created many controversies and many important problems and pressures. The friendship case was born in 1956 and officially ended in 1978. Many people confirm the truths of the allegations, especially when it involves well-known and wealthy Italians from Consul Perego to the painter Caspari de Lama, the architect Giancarlo de Carlo, to the leader of the Carabinieri and the CEO of the Telephone Company of Central Italy, but also eminent lawyers, distinguished engineers, even remarkable journalists supported the truth of the story. Despite these testimonies, there's a lot of doubt about the incident from both skeptics and skeptics about similar stories, especially when some of them have to do with mass contact. This, of course, is to be expected, but the surprise comes from a small portion of ufological groups. It's argued, then, that there are many misleading facts, and above all, the photographs that have been presented as true in the press and magazines of that time, which are reproduced to this day. They claim, therefore, that they are fake and a product of photo montage, while they claim in their interviews some witnesses have fallen into contradictions but also into gaps that cannot be justified. As a small example, we'll, we'll mention that for Angelo Maggioni, a founding member and president of ARIA, Association Ricerca Italiana Eliana, uh, Italian Association of Extraterrestrial Research, the friendship case has been perpetuate, perpetuated in Italy for many decades and has become a symbol of, uh, a symbol of Italian ufology. But at the same time, it's turned into a strong embarrassment for the ufological environment, given the insistence of many to keep the case alive, constantly revealing lies and inaccuracies. All this leads to conflicting conclusions. One is that the friendship affair was invented by an Italian elite in order to probably create interest in the world and the leaders in order to overthrow a possible nuclear war. The second is that the story is true and that there were groups that operated as in the Project Blue Book program of the United States, that is, in order to mislead the world about existence of aliens and their suspicious, friendly attitude. And uh, you can find more articles and photos concerning this. So it's interesting documentaries from which you can learn more. But unfortunately, they're not available for free. They cost about four or five euros each, about eight to seven, eight dollars. So, um, this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.